It's going to be a quick run down apps towards B. Only one playing mid and it's going to be a quick jump down. It's only going to be Hades who's trying to hold this off. He's going to be quickly calling in his teammates from shot. But quick find. There's going to be an exchange. It's back to a 4v4. But look at the health on Dihai. And as soon as they say Dihai is going to be cleared from Stenix. Okay, yeah. Nice pick there. And <laughs> just like that, it's all over. All the way back towards the TV room. But the head action is going all the way at Palace. Indeed it is. And Glaive, since we're aware, timing is just great. They wait for the reload to come in. Dihai at least able to find Stenix. So it's Glaive. They're looking to take the fight here. That is much better for Menz. Now 2v5, should be unlosable here. There we go, D help. And they can easily ruin the rotations. 4v4 now, Bomb needs to get planted though, as Tinix will just decapitate Hades, and it's all in Kyla to make something of this. That was a crucial off shot that's been missed, but oh. still Diha, he finds two before going down. Selter clears it, it back to a 1v2 situation, Glaive does have a kit. And he's on the flank, and I'm pretty sure nobody has an idea over here. And look at them both looking towards jungle. Oh, finally looks... Oh no, he's turned his back! That should be an easy one for Glaive. Now they know the position down to a 1v1 situation. He has a smoke and a flash to play with. Oh, that came down to the wire there. I would Glaive. not want to lay right behind it. Then uh, he's going to be forced off the angle and the flash as well. Forces him back to CT, but Stinex. He's been finding a lot in the start. Two players not looking in his direction. Gets two. Yes, he does. And now his position is known, but the plant, they tried to get it down in between. It didn't go through. Karen recovers, and now on site is Selter. He deals with the DR, and now it's down to one last player, Hades. Gets cleared off, and that's going to be the pistol oh, to start didn't off. Have the, uh, the vibes were in good. The vibes were immaculate. As we do have a faster play coming out here from Ents on the first fire run. It's going to be Hades. Good flashes. Nice layered flashes and utility running in with the util is going to be the offer. Instead, he will be taken down. As Tanir will find Hades. I love the way to just nading the smokes. We, 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 we talk about it quite often. We see a lot of teams do it as well. But it seems like Forza, they just keep doing it every single time and every single smoke they can find. And just like that, even with the bomb getting planted, it is a 4v3 advantage for the CTs. However, Kyla keeping control of CT is going to be crucial for him. Two players pushing from that trench. He had flashed it earlier, but now goes for a raw aim duel. It works. Puts Kaelin down, it's back to a 3v3 right as of now. Utils for retake, yes, on the ready, Stinix. He's still low, but Selter, he's doing his job along with Shelfie. Now it's all down to Goofy, gets cleared at Sandwich. And that's going to be another round. That's 12 for Force. And of all the things that we have, oh no, there's no time. Ooh, that's unlucky. I thought they had that one, but... They've already done justice and they've taken such a good lead. Now they will just try and fight, but Hades, he, he expects that push. And he draw, makes the opponent drop. The big AWP. And on top of that, he keeps finding. Stinix is down, and that's going to be two big openings. Top back uh, yeah. from Ents and close it out, but it's not quite done yet. Hades has woken up, but that's always a good sign. Assaulter will find Kyla. There's no one nearby to trade, mind you. Hades. Oh, that's, uh, that's a bit of a mistake from Assaulter there. Hoping to catch a timing, and if Hades is a little bit more patient, it could be gifted a second kill. Oh! Tenere peeks straight into his crosser, doesn't matter. Still will find Hades. It was kind of low, but now information has been gleaned. They know where Tenere is, and Kelly catches Goofy. Glaive able to trade. He knows where the final player was. 30 seconds on the clock. Bomb will be retrieved. He should be aware. He should be aware where Tenere is. If he comes in, and Glaive, the experience shines. right now. Imagine just before this round we were talking their cash looked good for them and right as of now in the next round where they lose, it doesn't. Kyler, however, opens things up. Kylin wants to try a hand on his own. Oh, this time he has to run away. He smokes himself, his position given away and he has to back up. Wait, oh no. He damages his own teammate and still finds. He's pushing pretty deep here. He's ready and waiting. There we go, Kyler will fall. One by one, members of the slowly getting whittled away, and that's a clean kill from Tanira as well. And this kind of feels like the beginning of the end, if you ask me, Lucifer. This looks like uh, the GG from map one. Yeah. Here he is, chest with the dig, uh, a flash and a smoke to play with. Tougher than ever, does have a bomb on his back, but that's going to be easily cleared. A player from shot, I think he spotted a player 
He's not good for the shot and now his position being called out. He's going to be surrounded in all directions. Make it caught off guard completely and that's going to be the first match. Fast play coming in straight from middle into Temple and B. And Glaive and Kala with a perfect cross fire here, but they need to get the kill. Kala able to find one. Glaive gets a second kill on the fadeaway. And now Diha needs to strike, but in, in fact, he will fall. And once again, the woes of Diha continue. A 3v2 bomb will be planted. Uh, has to be quick, but they're unable to take control. Quick trade it off, and now it's down to the last player in the same position at dark. He clears it, brings it down to a 1v1. Selter. He's playing back of sight. Hades is trying to check CT, maybe Temple, but now he's clearing back of sight. And with the bullets being rattled over play, they know it's a bit of a force fight here from the CTs. Nice nave there. And Glaive looking to take the fight, but he's caught in such a rough spot. The Molotov is going to keep him at bay as Hades needs to go big. He's going to find one. Trying to stay alive for as long as possible. He even do one better. Find the second kill. Now it's all on to near. 1v3 and Glaive with a half by coming here. Oh, no, I think I got for the full inverse. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a half by. A little bit of, a little bit of money. I'm not sure about what that was. What that was from uh, Kellyan. Maybe trying to catch a timing. This Goofy's being very aggressive. Kyla gets two at doors. And I think that should be done. There shouldn't be much left here. Maybe a couple of free pickings. Quick clear from Goofy and Kyla as well. Tyler, but Hades. Oh, that's a rare miss shot from him, but the fall. So very confident right now. And it's got Diha as well to back him up. There's no way to expect this push from Diha. Similar one, as but this time, yeah, it's three players at A, so they have to push to his tempo. Glaive ready, and nobody's going to catch oh, him. Maybe it's such a weird setup of their own roster over there. We shouldn't be giving them away. I agree. I, uh... Oh, Shalfi. Oh, that's actually big, Shalfi. Never mind, Hades will oh, take him out. to get a timing, but nope. It's all down to Stenix here. He needs to find a first kill, which he should. Now 4v5. Selta finds one. Quickly cleared out, but there's oh. a lot more aggression at CT, which Glaive clears along with Goofy. Hades at A. And now it's down to a 1v3 all of a sudden from where Forza were the ones who were able to get it first. And now it's going to be down. Their, uh, their map pick. Pretty convincingly in Mirage, yeah. you know, they're able to take a few rounds together, make make it uh, look a little bit convincing for their for themselves. This is actually pretty heavy lean back this. Tyler, oh the flash is really good from the CTs, but a trade from Goofy, a B main push in play as well. This is getting weird. It's a 3v3 right now, the bomb will be planted. The rotation is so far away though. Zelda. Not good enough. Goofy reads it, but not the second one. Shalfi immediately picks it, and that's going to be a 2v2 for there. them to move out. Time sticking. There's not much left in the round. They have to go for a head on fight, and Dia wins one of them. Down to a 1v1. Glaive has clutched all of them so far. He does it in the last one as well. That's going to be a 13 3. A quick one here for Renz. All five met players from ends. Just barreling up towards red. One player waiting. Flash to pop. No flashes. Just running up dry. Glaive lying in wait. Holds the line. There's so many targets. Is he going to pull the trigger? He has to at some point. One kill. Two. Spins for the third. That is massive from Glaive. Three kills. He knows where the fourth player is as well. It's going to be so hard for him to get the bomb down here. He might actually try and exit the bomb site. All. He perfectly fires and gets three of them down. Kellen should get the bomb, maybe a little more extra money after going down, but he's still trying to fight for it. Isolates a duel, make it a second duel that he isolates and Doesn't down to one. Kid, so he has to be quick and Kellen, he's just wasting his time. Gotta take the fight now and Goofy will get the kill. No time remaining though on the clock. No kid and I, I, I can't believe Kellen's actually pulled that one off. Yeah. I, thought, I thought Glaive had honestly done enough. Imagine him picking up three and they still managed to lose the round, especially it was just pushing the luck. Let's see, they tried to do it in the fourth round, did not work. The fifth, Stenix is ready to make sure he punishes them. But a quick run, Goofy Ugh. has been doing this quite often and winning almost all of them. Ugh. That was ugly in no way, no way. They still have time as well. 
Oh, God, this is messy. This is so messy. They need to stick it. <laughs> and play will finish up the job. I can't believe they won this round. Tyler trying to use a smoke to clamber up towards the box. Look at the this is oh, this is huge from Diha. Much better from Diha. Double kill as now the trade spotted up by Goofy in the meantime. It's going to be to near left multiple times so far, Blay. So I think this buy round shouldn't be the case, but wait, ten air, two players. He can bring it down. He still does have time. Has to find both. Oh. Doesn't find the second. To equalize the score for sure. They would want to. But the play at mid doesn't work. Ends are all grouping up out A. Look at how fast the rotation is. So they went for this fast fight towards mid. And the moment they knew it was going to be A. And Sulcher is not checking him. They're not checking him at all. And he's going to find one. He finally strikes. Looking for the second kill as well. But runs out of bullets. And this is back and forth. But Tanir and tied. 8 to 8. Mid fight being rested. The flashes are good. But Kylo is tucked in. He can find two here, but now he's... Oh, this is so rough for Kylo. He's going to get hunted down. He needs to at least find one. He's got this no help. might be the round where they don't. They're still trying to explore the odds. Selter gets mauled off. And also cleared. That's another find. We were just talking about Goofy. A boost coming through now right for him. And he finds one at triple. That's going to be another... They're just finding frags for free right now. And this immediately comes down to a 3v3 situation. It's Goofy this time who gets caught off guard. But immediately... Look at this. Because ends do not have another layer to guard towards CT. The plant is not yet coming. And Hades finally does it. And now it should come down to a plant. But looks like Diha wants to just clear out oh, CT. the hell? Ends have managed to turn this one around. Fashion Tanir. Sorry, Smoke. Beg your pardon. Tiny little gap there. But Diha can play around the Smoke. He's played the edge of it. He's got the right read here. The wrong way. And this time around, D how Not much that we saw from Force. They've been trying to push. Whether it's going to be an early push or a late push, it's been happening from Force. Double scope. Too hard to push. And this is absolute pandemonium <laughs> outside of B. Force is just taking the fight to end. And Kylar, okay. Find Stenix. Averted yet. Kellan in a very cheeky position. He would want to hard clear it, but they line up for him. Ouchie. Kyla. He's aware. He's aware, but his steps could act as a bit of an off angle here. For Shalfi finds one and a second kill as well. The timing could not have been worse for Glade. With a nade out in his hands. Kellyan will find Dia in the meantime towards A mains. That lurk getting absolutely nothing done, but Hades will strike back in return. Now suddenly it's a 2v3 and the one player towards the A box that like Kelly and they, know, they knew so where he was. Low. He's just going to be an alarm for his teammate. He's going to be sacrificial trying to find information and he'll do one more better. He's going to get a headshot onto Tanir. Will finally fall to Stinix but amongst all the commotion Goofy has disappeared like a wraith. I'll have a flash to play with but right now playing the time game he waits for the tick. Oh boy. 12 to oh. 11 map. A match point potentially, but Stinix is pushing up. Finds a kill as Kyler. They have to make sure that they have to be clean. Methodical. If they're not, it can be ends. Util's coming down. It's going to be Stinix who's been isolated on site. There's the smoke he makes use of. Maybe finding a second along with Tanea's help. And yes, they are mowing down ends here. Way of fours now. Faster A head here. He's trying to overwhelm the offer. It's going to be Seltzer to flash. Not Line up. He's gonna go for the second kill as well. He's feeling it. Second kill for him, but Glaive once again with a 2k. Another 2v5. Surely this one should go the way of fours. They should be able to convert this. Bomb will be planted. The seed is being aggressive. They go out off to a rough start. Map number two. They just completely destroyed. Rolled over Forza. And here, Shalfi once again finding Kyler who has been having a rough time. Shalfi finds Hades as well. The two quick kills. And now Goofy having to do everything. It is absolutely nothing One down. he can do. As ends now in a 2v5. Make that a 1v5 for Diha. And there's nothing he could do. Just a one casualty for Forrest in the final round to close it out. And he can see.